If you're a senior figure in the Ukrainian government right now, given what's going on with Russia, and you're in a country where everybody's been feathering their nests with whatever dollars they can, siphoning from the treasury, siphoning from corporate interests that are paying you off, pure old school corruption. You tell me you're not going to make sure you're sacking away some money and, and getting no, ready for I, the I, exit, I'm, right? I, mean, I just also feel like, I wish they would just tell everybody we're in for a few trillion dollars on this one because that's what it actually is. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's a few trillion spent already, but I'm saying the way this conflict is going, the duration of the conflict as it's likely to play out, you're looking at a few trillion dollars. And that's the best case scenario of we don't get somehow dragged into this thing and it goes, you know, thermonuclear. I mean, which is everyone's, well, I mean, it should be everyone's worst nightmare. Do you think we're heading into World War III? man. I think that the chance of a direct escalation with Russia is probably 10 to 20 percent. And that's enough that I think people should be really worried about it. So I think it's unlikely, but realistic. And when it's realistic, and it involves something that's that significant and dangerous, people should be much more cognizant of the mission creep toward this and the way that this could go bad in a hurry. I mean, they just, before you and I talked, they're talking about, oh, there was a, an attempt on Putin's life with drones. Like, whoa, hmm? we've learned a very painful lesson with how uh, useless sanctions, sanctions are. Again, they're, this is amazing, isn't it? We're always like, oh, well, we're going to slap him around with sanctions. Mm -hmm. Really? You're going to slap Russia around with sanctions? The... Uh, hydrocarbon superpower uh, that in a world where the economy still absolutely positively needs natural gas and and uh, and oil, you're going to do what exactly? We learned. At the beginning of this conflict, we were told we we're going to crush their economy. We didn't crush their economy. The really smart people who tell us we're not going to get in war with Russia, they said we're going to be able to bring Russia to its knees by cutting them off from the international banking system. Does Russia look like it's been brought to its knees by the international banking system? Well, I, th I like what... I guess I shouldn't say I like, but I think Elon Musk, he brought up a great point when we weaponized the U.S. dollar and with all these sanctions and everything, and now look what's happened, and now BRICS has taken off, and all these countries are dropping the dollar. Argentina, France is talking about it, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, Iran. Who else? Who am I missing? I mean, you know, that's that's you know? a strong list of, of people that are, are moving. If, if dollar...